zombie apocalypse. Hey YouTube, it's Step One of Gaming today, and I am bringing a very interesting video today. This is going to be a Rust video, but this is not the regular Rust. This is the Rust experimental version. And in this episode, we're just going to be showing you, um, basically, not really the new stuff, just building a house, just playing like what it would be like to play survival Rust from the old Rust and the new one. I already did an update video showing all the new stuff, so you guys should watch that before you watch this. That way, you have a little more knowledge of what's going on. So. I'm just going to build the foundations, you know, try to build the house and just see what it would be like. See if anything lags a little bit. So, I killed a couple animals, gathered a whole bunch of rocks and stones, and I did a whole bunch of stuff. So, here's my campfire. Let's, oh, hit the wrong button again. I'm not used to that. Four. Okay, I can't place it on here. I don't know why. Okay, so you can't place a campfire in your house. Where can I place it? Alright, it is not allowing me to place it anywhere near here can I place it over here nope nope nowhere well that's that's convenient so you can you can't have a furnace so I remember doing something like this no like this yeah here we go so you have to right click it and we'll do a wall plan Let's build some walls there we go okay another one another one another one uh, one more and I'll build a doorway but I just have to put together the walls so this is what it what it's like building a house in the new experimental version in the old rust it was nothing like this it was just you had to make the wooden planks and then just place it you didn't actually have to use a hammer so the hammer is basically basically a brand new thing that's supposed to help make it feel a little better I guess the game give it a different feel so let's make wooden door Oh no, I, don't, I want it. No. Uh, doorway plan. That. There we go. I don't understand what the big pole in the middle is. It just like disappears, right, when it's done. Do I not have enough wood? What's going on? Why can't I? There we go. Okay, now we have to build a door, so. I'm not very good at these controls. Like this. This one? There we go. Okay, I'm building a door. I built one. Yay. Okay. Open door, closed door. Look at that. I'm top quality right here. And it gives me this lock pick. Let's see if I can figure out how to use this lock pick that they gave me. Create a key. Okay, so I'm creating a key right now. I guess I, I'm making a key with my hands. That's basically what I'm doing. So that's basically my house right now. So it's actually pretty awesome. It looks a lot nicer than the houses in Rust, the other Rust. I'm going to call it that one, the other Rust. And this one's going to be the new Rust. That's what I'm just going to call it to make it a lot simpler for you guys to understand. Okay, so that's basically it. I like the new textures and all the new graphics. It, it just makes the game a whole lot better. It's not, it's not that old kind of boring feel, you know? All right, so open the door now. I'm making the key right now so I can have a key to the door so let's see what else because I, I need to build that campfire to make some food because it says I'm starving so bandages no I don't know where anything is so I'm just wandering aimlessly through this inventory bear traps foundation plan lock okay let's build a storage box we'll build that once the key is done okay now the t key is done oh I can't speak lock the door there we go so what I do is I open the door, so then you have to go outside, close the door, and then lock it. Okay, I got it now. So when you leave, you have to lock it so that way no one can get in. That's pretty nice. I kind of like that. Alright, I don't know how I feel about that. I like the passcodes too. The passcodes are very nice. I didn't have a problem with those, but I guess they wanted to put like a twist on it to make it feel a little different. Okay, so let's place... Why can't I place anything in this house? Doesn't like me. Okay, let's see what we can make a floor plan. Oh, maybe I have to put a floor down. Okay, we'll put a floor up here. Who said you can't have a floor on top of your house? Okay, it's kind of like a roof, but it's a floor. 
So maybe I need a floor to be able to place my stuff. I can't just place it on the rock foundation. Okay. So this is kind of weird. So I just made a roof out of floors. So that's basically it. Let's make some stairs. I want to make some stairs outside because I don't. I really don't care. Like so, in here, I'm, I'll just keep all my storage, and then upstairs will just be like a furnace. So I really don't care if anyone uses my furnace. You know, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, he's using my furnace. So I kind of don't care. So I have to put it on a foundation. So here's my horrible ideas right here. You can see how terrible I am at creating ideas right here. Okay. So now that we have two. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that I have two foundations here, can I build the stairs now? Okay, I can build stairs going this way, like that. Okay, let's build these stairs. Okay, I need to get in the right spot. I'm not in the right spot. There we go. Oh, right here. There we go. Okay, I built some stairs. Yay. Okay, now can I place it? Wait, what happened to my campfire? Didn't I? Uh, did I place it on accident? Okay, I still. Oh, there we go. I placed it. Oh, well, now it's it's useless up here now, but I need to build another campfire now. So let's just wait for it to finish. I got a rock. I love the rock. You whack so much faster. What is that? Is that a bear? I want to kill it. I'm gonna hop my way over there. Coming for you, Mr. Bear. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! I killed him. And he turned into a wolf. Wow, very, very interesting. So I made myself all this clothing. I made some gloves, some shoes. You get the pants and the jacket, but I made these too. So I look a little cooler now. I had to kill like one player because he was just standing there and he bothered me, so I just killed him. But yeah, the game is uncensored, so that that's awesome, isn't it? It was very, it's very inappropriate, I have to say. It's not for children. This is not a game for kids. Alright, the campfire the campfire should be done. In like, negative one seconds. Okay. <laughs> there we go, I placed it. Okay. So we'll put that in there with some wood. I'm going to put some meat. Ignite. Okay, there's two pieces of wolf meat. I know the meat can burn in this one, so that's not that fun because if you leave it in there. Oh, there's the campfire I placed. Oh, it's over there. I didn't know I placed it on accident. No, that sucks. But I have to sit here and wait for it now because I don't want it to burn. So I'm tr I've been trying to figure out what the. Well, it's like a water droplet. I'm, I'm assuming it's hydration, but I don't know where you would get water from because. I really don't see water. I know there's an ocean, but I didn't know if you like drink the ocean water or what's going on. Maybe you have to find bottled water. I really, I really don't know what that, what the point of that is. But maybe in the next update or maybe a few updates, they'll actually explain what it is. Because you know, when I first started playing the experimental version when it first came out, it, it like it was laggy. Like they didn't even have the textures for the walls. It was just a gray wall. It was like kind of boring. But they're doing a great job, so I give them a lot of credit for this awesome experimental version they're doing. They said they built this all from scratch, so that's really awesome. Let's go kill this guy. I don't know what he is. Is it a pig or something? Look at you. Looking good. Too bad I had to crush you into little pieces. There we go. I got a wolf skull. Skull. I know bone fragments have something to do in this game. Can you make like a bone knife? Where is it? Yeah, I need a, a melee weapon crafted from bones. So that'd be pretty awesome to have that bone knife. You know, it might come in handy. Oh, I forgot you take damage from the fire, so I'm not going to run in the fire. Come on. Hurry up and cook already. It's been like 20 minutes. It's actually been like a minute, but I just wanted to cook already. I want to go kill something else so I can get some more bone fragments and make that bone knife I want. Here he is. He's, look at this wolf. I'm going to go for him. Sneak attack. What? Ooh, kill him. There we go, he's dead. Poor little wolf. He didn't even try to fight back. I feel so bad now. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. Yay. That was quick. It's like the quickest thing to make in this game. Ooh, I got a knife. 
doesn't look anything like the picture. In the picture, it looked kind of cool. And it's, this one is just like a stick. It's a sharp, pointy bone. That's all it is. It takes 60 bone fragments to make this. Can you whack someone with it? What do you do with it? It, do it doesn't have an animation when you whack. It just whacks. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Kind of want to go kill someone with it now. Are you serious? It didn't even cook it? All that wood? Didn't even cook it. Okay, I need to go get some more wood now. Because obviously it doesn't cook. You need hundreds of wood to cook that freaking thing. Jeez. Okay, let's go. Let's go and get some more wood so we can just finish cooking this meat. So yeah, this is a lot better than the other rust. Even though it is a little laggy, I still enjoy this a tiny bit more because of just the way it looks. You know, it has a whole different feel. So it's kind of laggy as you just saw. I just lagged, but... It is a lot of fun to play the survival. I can't wait for them to actually finish this game. I'm going to do a ton of videos on that. And also, I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys haven't already, you guys should check out the Rust update video. I'm going to be doing a ton of those, just talking about all the new stuff and what they're gonna, what's coming up, you know. And I wanted to also tell you guys to check out my MCSG series. That's my Minecraft survival game series. That's a lot of fun. I've been posting a ton of those. So thank you guys for the support towards my channel. It means a lot.